I couldn't eat or drink anything and I started vomiting and I couldn't stop. It got to the point where I lost a lot of my muscle mass. How many doctors you've seen ballpark? Maybe 60. And I would just hope that I would die. I started suffering from really severe seasonal allergies that would manifest into ear infections that would take me out for days, chronic fatigue, sensitivities to chemical smells. I just felt defeated. Some of you may have heard that the expected lifespan for children born today is two years less than it was a couple of years ago. We were expected to have longer lifespan for decades now we've getting healthier and healthier and healthier, but now it's reversing. And it's reversing where our newborn children are not expected to live as long as you will. And diseases are going up. The percentage of people getting autoimmune diseases or cancers or heart disease is going up. Why is that? It's lifestyle. It's how we've lived our lives that got us to where we are now. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about a low level smoldering inflammation that over time, months, years, potentially decades, is taking people's lifespans down, taking away their energy, destroying their mood, increasing weight gain, and basically making life a whole lot less enjoyable. So it's clear to me, based on the trajectory of my illness of 27 years of tried general neuralgia, getting worse, seven years of MS, getting worse, now with brain fog, I'm gonna be bedridden, demented, and probably die with intractable pain. A terrible future. A month later, I, I, I can sit up at the table for supper, and my mental clarity is improving. My fatigue is markedly less. And my physical therapist says, Terry, you're stronger. He advances my exercise. I can now do 15 minutes twice a day, and then 20 minutes twice a day, then 30 minutes twice a day. And then I start walking with walking sticks, with two and then with one and then none. And you should keep in mind, anyone with a progressive neurologic disorder, we let go of the future. We learn to just live each day as it unfolds because the future is so terrible. Who knows how much recovery might be possible? The first thing that's usually going to help most people is to eliminate the triggers of inflammation. And the most common source of inflammation is what's on the end of your fork. Having the understanding that I need to do things differently is one thing, but also having the capacity to make better decisions for myself mm. and better decisions for my family then allows me to say, you know what, guys, let's not go to the bar. Let's go to the gym, right? Let's take the dogs to the park instead of watch this TV show. And in every single one of those branches, we'll start to water the right garden or flame the fire. We're optimizing digestion. We're doing all of these foundational things, really kind of walking us back to how we evolve. And in doing this sort of systems approach, this concert of interventions, we're able to turn the volume down on this chronic inflammation that will eventually show up as these 15 you know, diseases that will kill us. What's happened to the concept of inflammation, it's like a volume control. If you have too little volume, you can't hear it. That would be in a suppressed immune system. That's like no inflammation. Or if you turn it too much the other way, now you have hyperinflammation, which is that that's going to lead and associate with many late stage diseases. How empowering to hear the authorities told you you were not sick, you didn't have a problem, it's all in your head, you're making it up, but you persevered. And even my parents, as much as they wanted to believe, I really had only one of them that I finally said, you know, I know you're, you're right. I know that what you're experiencing is real and I never gave up on you. So in experiencing that, don't settle for that. The inflammation equation gets to the root of where inflammation comes from. The lessons you learn from the incredible people 
who have spent their entire life trying to help you is invaluable. We are interviewing the world experts on brain function, on immune function, on gut function. And we're taking these people at the top of the field and their geeky way of talking and interpreting it into everyday language so that you understand the basics. Oh, I can see what that means. Oh, that makes sense to me. And then you understand what to do about it to turn it around. The science is very clear. You can arrest and reverse the development of your disease, but it's lifestyle that has to be addressed in order to do that. Come join us, we'll show you how.